Trees for Houston has been serving our area since 1983, giving away and planting hundreds of thousands of trees. While 2020 has been a challenging year, we organizationally have been very active and committed to continuing uh, fulfillment of our mission. Taking care of the tree farms, distributing trees, uh, planting with greatly reduced volunteer presence, but planting nonetheless. We've taken advantage of this lull in activity to move ahead with plans for expansion. That expansion has led us to contact-free distribution events where we have already distributed tens of thousands of trees all over the greater Houston area uh, at free pickups uh, in different locations as well as uh, at a piece of property we are in the process of acquiring on 34th Street. As a result, uh, we're getting trees on an average uh, to about 55 different zip codes at every single tree distribution event we're doing. So uh, the grassroots component of this, the egalitarian component of this in terms of, of where trees and tree resources are going has been greatly expanded uh, uh, during this time. One of the crucial components of making this successful is not just having our own place from which we can distribute the trees, but locations all around the greater Houston area. Uh, HEB and the Joe V's chain of stores uh, have partnered with us to allow us to use their space in areas where it might be more difficult to find a local area that is efficient for us to get these trees out. Hi, my name is Vicki Luna, Public Affairs Specialist at HEB. At HEB, we have five formats. HEV, Jovi's, Mi Tienda, Central Market, and Favor. At Jovi Smart Shop, we offer fresh produce, a great shopping experience, and incredibly low prices. We believe that our work to care for the environment not only makes us a better neighbor, but it helps us to serve the community better. Through our partnership with Trees for Houston, we are doing our part to save the planet. Our customers love the free trees that we've been doing at these giveaways. The trees that we are distributing are providing better shade, beautification, flood control, and cleaner air. And the customers see that Trees for Houston is set up outside giving away free trees. They're in shock and they're excited. It's an opportunity for them to beautify their homes and do things together as a family while also doing our part to save the planet. Thank you Trees for Houston for all that you're doing to help our community and to make it a better place. While this expansion and distribution has been great for us and is a crucial part of our future, we continue to have a huge impact on the city in terms of planting schools, planting parks, planting esplanades and, and streetscapes. Uh, that has always been at the core of our mission and will continue to be with the support of both individuals and corporate entities. Environment and sustainability is a core focus area for Philip 66 in terms of philanthropy, community, and volunteerism. And we are grateful for the partnership with Trees for Houston. We are back at Deschamps Elementary for a second year to continue our work on their campus. It is wonderful to see the children's smiling faces and to hear their thank yous. It really connects us to what this is all about. It's about beautification, it's about sustainability, it's about the environment, but it is about so much more. It is about the joy, the happiness, the pride that the children feel for their school, for their community, and for their hometown. Philip 66 is grateful for the partnership with Trees for Houston and we look forward to continuing along the journey and supporting the mission to protect, plant and promote trees. Thank you for the partnership and the opportunity. One of the more successful recent examples of it is our partnership with various folks in the Fifth Ward. Our district basically covers a large variety from Crosby, Texas, all the way to Fifth Ward. So our district has very wealthy and very poor. About three years ago, the late president, Ms. Marilyn Whitaker, she met with me and she had a strong desire to beautify her community. And what she asked me was that, Abner, do you think it's possible if we could have trees planted along the Mesa Boulevard? So we reached out to the city we told them what we wanted to do and what it was going to take. 
Well, it was a little bit out of the city's budget. So that project kind of died off. We got a call from Barry Ward, who was the executive director of Trees for Houston. I had never talked to him. I've never met him. He just called me out of the blue and he asked me, he said, are you still interested in that project of planting trees on Mesa? I said, absolutely, but uh, I'm just letting you know we cannot afford it. So I was trying to end the conversation. But Barry was persistent, said, no, we, we'll, we'll work with you. Let us know what we can do. That to us was a miracle. And we just are so grateful that Trees for Houston came through because nobody believed it was gonna happen, even until the day the first tree was planted. They still didn't believe. We really wanna thank uh, Trees for Houston and uh, Barry Ward for making his dream come true. Trees for Houston, much like Houston in general, is at an inflection point. The need for our services and our trees is greater than ever. Demand is higher than ever. We are at a time where we really need to expand what we do and how we do it. And we appreciate your past support, and we really look forward to having you on board as we move into the future.